Those Damn Ross Kids is a podcast for adults, and the opinions expressed do not reflect the opinions of our employers or even ourselves. We'd like to hear from you. Give us a call at 419-528-TDRK to leave a voicemail, and we just may play it on the show. Wow. Crimbus. Jailbreak. What? Prison, prison. I don't understand. It's an audible in football. <laughs> American football. Oh, okay. That, that, yeah, that threw me off. Home run. <laughs> I was recording for that, so we're good. Base league. Those damn Ross kids. A conversation between brothers featuring Chris and Cole Ross. That's not a thing. It's a Clooney movie. Is it? Nope. <laughs> Leatherheads? That was a... <laughs> was that his? Le- Leatherface? Was playing, that him? Playing football on that... Uh, Did... <laughs> Hobo's playing football on that train. Yeah, yeah. That was... Uh, it, yeah. George Clooney played Le- Leatherface, the gym from The Office. Is that the way that went? Huh. Yeah. A bunch of teenagers died. Weird. Hey, Chris, what episode's this? Is that the one where Renee Zellweger said, hey, stop reading my diary? <laughs> no, that was the one with the pants, but the second one. Oh. Huh. Stella got her groove back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm. And she cut her foot. She cut her feet by stepping on the steel magnolias. I was going to say steel dandelions. <laughs> or t- titanium geraniums. <laughs> <laughs> titanium. <laughs> oh man that's pretty good so this is uh, episode 98 of this thing it's the week before christmas uh we're sitting here in my apartment have you got all your shopping done i haven't started I've done nothing i have n- nothing like it's 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 60 degrees out because talking about the weather especially here in ohio is definitely very Oh, I'm exciting, but what I will say is exciting is you have prepared us a wonderful holiday delicacy, something that's been a tradition for us. Well, um, now it's a tradition. Now it is, yeah. Yeah. Since we've, since we've done it three times, I think? No, for the holidays, this is the second time. Okay, yeah. I have a vague recollection of of doing this here, too. With, oh, uh, that's a spicy, spicy gummy bear. Mm, yeah. This is the, uh, the, the vodka gummy bears. Sugar-free gummy bears with, uh, this is, you change it up. This is, this is fruit punch vodka. Fruit punch. Fruit punch. Pinnacle fruit punch, $9.32 mm. a fifth. <laughs> Pinnacle. From a truck behind the liquor store. <laughs> from, from, from a dude on a truck behind the liquor store. Was it like a shipment truck? Uh, no, I wouldn't necessarily just a... say like a fifth. It was like, you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> half of a gallon milk chip. Yeah, the, the, he, si- he siphoned that out of a larger container and he counted to five. So <laughs> He basically just dropped some Jolly Ranchers and some gasoline. <laughs> oh, that explains so much. Yeah, so we are going to be eating our drink today. Um, we have bowls full of them. Genius. Um, <laughs> we have bowls full of them and we are um to, to, to a nine by 13 tray of them yeah we do and um in order to keep our hands clean and non-sticky we are uh eating them with toothpicks so we are skewering a bear and uh eating it while we talk so that's cool so that's probably annoying for you mm. Mm. <laughs> for, for, for when your liquor isn't slimy enough broadcasting live from cows walking in mud <laughs> <laughs> my name is my name is cole ross <laughs> that means your name is chris you ross chew just alike <laughs> we do? that's why we have to introduce ourselves mic check we're here to entertain your asses with all this stuff here with details deets yeah it's funny we record in so many different circumstances that i i feel like there's a different patina to each uh to each you know to, to, to each soundscape we're in my dining room right now next to the lonely christmas <laughs> because we yeah. have to mention it so many times per season it's not lonely now though yeah yeah good thing you got <laughs> an ikea by you <laughs> i know right <laughs> yeah. otherwise nobody would come to me yeah. <laughs> probably do less podcasts exactly <laughs> 
Yeah, when the pool closed, the you know the rest of the family stopped coming down. Well, so I know, right? yeah, but I'm a, I'm a winter kind of guy. Yeah, I'm a winter bear. If you know what I'm saying, I like a like a <laughs> like a Edgar Winter. You know, <laughs> the guitarist for the Blues Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's fine. That's fine. You're good. Yeah. You're good. I really need to. <laughs> I imagine the Fonz punching me, and then I started talking correctly. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I need to look, put these away for a second. Set those on top of the. Uh, They're delicious. Set those on top of that expensive audio equipment. <laughs> so I got it. For, I got it from a dude in a parking lot for a hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you stole it during his vinegar stroke. <laughs> <laughs> is that a thing outside of the league i don't know like i mean it's a thing in real life well yeah i mean yeah. it's it's an accurate observation it's one i just i i figured there's going to be a lot of namespace pollution if you just google search vinegar strokes is going to pull up a bunch of stuff from that if you go to urban dictionary you know it's going to be like oh a description of what they said in that show the league airs on fx thursday nights at 10 o'clock sure um, <laughs> <laughs> Did we mention we have a sponsor? Do you know that there's a a thing that you put over the 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 stock or, or butt portion of a gun and, and it absorbs the the yeah the it's like a, it's like it's like a, it's like a wool butt pad yeah, yeah yeah but I wanted to make one with like a a one ten outlet plug on it why because you could call you could market it as a butt plug. Jeez. <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> Do you have any more genius there? No, that's all I refined in the three-hour drive here. <laughs> My three-hour drive was distilled to that idea. Yeah. yeah. So, since, since, since we can't... Distilled water tastes gross. <laughs> it's, it's not good for you. It, Is it, it really? It, it doesn't have the minerals in it. It, it, it. it saps the minerals out of you. It sucks them out. Yeah, the electrolytes. It, cre- it, cre- it creates an electrolyte imbalance. So, like, Indronutresis. What? Endonutresis. Is that what that is? No, that's a shampoo. <laughs> Garnier? <laughs> Garnier yeah. endonutresis. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they call it dry land drowning. Really? Yeah. Is that when you just drink water in an old person's house? <laughs> no, that's that's when you accidentally make mustard gas by mixing ammonia and bleach. Did that. <laughs> you have, really? Yeah, it was horrible. Uh, accidentally? <laughs> On purpose. Okay. Everyone died. Was this in the same back room that you? <laughs> this is the same back room that you and I shared at one point. What? At the at the retail store? No, in the big building. No, 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 no. that okay. no, that could never. That's forever unclean. <laughs> <laughs> no, this was at the uh, in the shower when Grandma and Grandpa first bought that cottage. Oh yeah, I yeah, uh, it had a uh, really a bunch of rust stains. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I mixed so... a bunch of cleaners in there because I was being a <laughs> you're be, you I were, was being a helpful I was being chub- a help, scientist, a helpful chubby. It's like when uh oh my gosh, it's like when you uh when you're a little kid and you think you're I'm gonna I was I, a little I'm, kid. I'm gonna make a magical potion and you take and you take Coca Cola and chocolate syrup and and hand lotion yeah. and gummy bears and and vodka. Mix and... your uncle's jizz and my tears. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. You always got to take it to a dark place. Okay, so you were you, you, were, you were you were marketing the butt plug. I was driving home from work today and I wasn't um, I know no, nah, no, I'm not a marketer of a butt plug. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, you you are a butt I'm the inventor Chris, of the butt plug. Chris, you you are a you are a butt plug monger, okay? I am the inventor. You are the butt plug monger, all right? Is that a mong Manga. It's Japanese cartoons. Um, no. Is it really? <laughs> what? That's odd. That's that's crazy. You're a, you're a manga monger. Busty cartoon glasses. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. No, no. I was <laughs> I was driving back, and uh, since every episode uh, goes towards sexual assault and also crotch matters, um, <laughs> which was my favorite show starring Julia White. It was in his Do you know why days. we talk about crotch matters? Because crotches matter? No, because crotch matters. <laughs> Okay, like we both just said the same thing. We just put the pluralization on different. No, you were talking science. I was talking. I was talking what what the crotches want to hear. No, no. Why do the crotches tune in? Why do you think think the crotches download? Why aren't they streaming? Why Why are these crotches streaming? All these all these crotches are listening on Downcast. It's weird. I'm I'm an Instacast man myself, but you know, Instacast, the league, those damn Ross kids. Um, no, but uh, I was driving back and I was thinking about uh, about menstrual syncing. Okay. 
Okay. And I was thinking about women's prisons. <laughs> Do you see where I'm going? No, I don't. I'm I'm pretty <laughs> sure that what I'm envisioning is something totally different. <laughs> okay, so then what you're you you have you have nuns in a uh, in a convent. You have um, girls in a dorm room. You have a flag they, on a pole. <laughs> There's grass on the ground. This is everything's backwards. This is not my beautiful house. Okay. This is not my beautiful prison. No, no. So, so that's like that's like what? Maybe four or five women together at max. Now imagine thousands of women all contained within the same walls. A ladies' penitentiary. A ladies' penitentiary. The sexiest building. Um. Not really. Yeah, no. It's it's rough stuff. Not so much though. So, eventually, out you know, uh, minus a couple of the new fish, you know, the fresh fish, the outliers. Um, everybody's going to be on the same cycle. So there's going to need to be a a direct influx. That train is bringing him in, actually. So, you know, there has to be like, a, you know, a sudden shipment of a lot of feminine hygiene products. Okay, to take care of that. And that's how we get in. <laughs> No. <laughs> Sorry, we're not planning that. No, no. <laughs> you, you were telling a different of story. Cor- of course not. No. Chris. Menstrual sinking, Chris. remember that, because I'm going to get to it. <laughs> no, no. Okay, so they all get on the same cycle, and the usual supply chains are going to cut up. There's a lot of red tape. There's a lot of bureaucracy. All right, so what we do is we pull up outside of the women's prison in the parking lot with a big old truck. Maybe we get it from U-Haul or one of these other companies. Just load it up, and we sell them at a premium to the guards because they're like, it is a mess in there, and we need to take matters into our own hands. So we mark it up by a couple of percent in order to make a nifty, you know, nifty, tidy profit. And then before the, and then before the, uh, uh, you know, the officials come and uh, chase us away, and I imagine this being like a Dukes of Hazard. Um, type situation, except Slash with Slash Benny Hill. <laughs> well, Benny Hill then Dukes of Hazard, except instead of a 1976 Dodge, Char- Dodge Charger, it's a uh, it's a 79 Charger. Shit. Now we have a 79 Charger, but we we pig- penguin run. No, it was a 69, a 69 Charger penguin run. Yes, um, but instead of that, it is a U-Haul full of tampons. Right? <laughs> you know those those Ross kids done done it again. <laughs> Are you down with my scheme, Mr. Butt Pug? Do you know when people put lipstick on their belly button and then they squish it <laughs> and they make a video of it talking? <laughs> kind of. I was of. thinking of menstrual sinking where like a woman uses her, her lips like a puppet and sings oh, a song on shit. video. Oh, and then, and then, yeah, yeah, it happens. Um, Raspberry puree. <laughs> 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 that wasn't the print song it would have chosen, but okay. <laughs> you know, well, being I mean, that he's had in a... prison, she's looking for a new life at the secondhand store. <laughs> I would have gone with pussy control, but okay. Nah, nah. <laughs> a little on the nose. Yeah, well, if she could control her pussy, it wouldn't be singing. <laughs> it's like Michigan J Frog. I swear to God, it sings. Just when you're not here. That's all that happens. <laughs> really? Oh, no. We don't screw around. He just sings to me. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, oh, my right time. Yeah, speaking of rags. This is fucking gross, man. <laughs> What like what are we doing with our lives? Oh, it's a mess. It's, yeah, it's terrible. A, it's, a it's a week before Christmas. All yeah. right. <sighs> you keep saying that. I keep saying that because I want to give people a time and a place. It's fifty degrees outside. It was sixty three minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting closer to Christmas. <laughs> it, it is ten oh one p.m. Um, on Friday. I can keep going if you want. I don't. I don't. I don't fucking care. December. We are drinking a uh, a paleo margarita. It's made of Brendan Fraser. <laughs> Encino Marker. Encino, Encino Marker? <laughs> Encino. Uh, <laughs> I was um I was <laughs> on my way home from work and uh, I wanted a beverage. <clears throat> and the closest place um to my to my to my place of employment that sells um diet Pepsi cheaply. Or you know, pop cheaply is, is is Taco Bell. All right, pull through the drive through, and on the window there is a flyer for like um, 
a, a charity for urban youth because my tax dollars aren't doing enough of that, right? <laughs> um, anyway, it will be next year. Thirty-eight <laughs> percent. <laughs> Anywho, um, and, who's and, coming over for spam? <laughs> oh wait, every homeless person. <laughs> Every single one, um, and uh, you know, it was it was saying you know this 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 Taco Bell franchise is a participant in this thing. I was like, okay, cool, you know all that. I scanned down the line because when I every every flyer and every pamphlet that I you know see, I read it you know in its entirety. And um, at the bottom in the bottom right, apropos of nothing, there was a uh, an image of the poster for the movie The Blind Side. And at the left of that, it said, you can make it happen. (laughs) We're going to make Sandra Bullock eat until we can't see her backbones. Her back ribs. That's what we're going to do. Back ribs. That's it just, that's that's funny because we all, all the time on this show I I, I, I talk about it. I was about to say we this is this isn't nearly as much of a thing for you as it is for me I talk about <clears throat> movies and popular culture being used to market science to people which okay it's neat but every time an, an Earth like planet is found it's like a new Pandora ba, 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 like the movie Avatar ha ha. Or, you know, something like that, right? Why are you squinting at me? Anyway, um, (laughs) but with this one, it takes it to a whole new level because it says, hey, do you remember that movie where a white person helped a black person because that's the only way it can happen? Um, You can do that, too, by giving some money to this Taco Bell, I guess. It was just funny to me. Black people have been helping white people for a long time. You know, uh, The Legend of Bagger Vance, um, every Stephen King novel. The 1850s. (laughs) (laughs) Chris, do you have a story for me? <laughs> do you have a story for me, like, real quick? Well, you want to mark her? No, no, I'm no. not going to mark her. No, that's fine. No. It was a good joke. I, I was the one who took us into that territory. You right? did. You yep. dipped into it. Yep. I dipped in oh, and then I dipped out. How uncomfortable am I going to make you now? Mm. Spin the roulette wheel. Oh, the roulette <laughs> Oh, I know how. I know. How, I'm, I'm going straight for the straight for the sore spot. Boop. Just when you thought Boop. it was safe. <laughs> I love these. Safe from bed bugs. As long as you never stay in a hotel. Go shopping for clothes. Buy a used couch or go to the movies. <laughs> or work in an office. Now it turns out you must also refrain from borrowing books. Oh, they hide in the spines. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Library books are the latest hiding spot for the pests who apparently like to cozy up in the spines of hardcover books. As a result, libraries are increasingly less relevant. <laughs> um, I th- I, like every library that I've been to in the past 10 years, basically since I stopped taking out, you know, Narnia books. Sure. Um, <laughs> um, it's been like a like a like a play, like a free DVD rental place. Right. Oh well, yeah, I mean, you put three books on one side of the table and three books on the other, like beside you. Mm-hmm. You put your elbows on them, and then you rest it there while you read your iPad. <laughs> it gets it up to the right angle. Absolutely, yeah, exactly. That's that's an, opt- an optimal is. viewing angle. That's yeah. the, 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 that's what you need. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're downtown anyway, doing the blind side. Exactly. Right. But what I so not <laughs> <laughs> the not the strip club did yeah. toys for tits, tots. Love the Marine Corps. <laughs> <laughs> and uh that's that's funny so 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 bed bugs so, so the cure for getting bed bugs from library books is to get a kindle and the cure to getting bed bugs out of your house is to kindle a fire like you know that right like 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 bed bugs are worse than like hauntings like you like people who have bed bugs and then get rid of them then they get poltergeist they say i this is great why did I have to take out Fifty Shades of Grey? Not only was it disgusting, I mean, physically, like, you know, from all the lady stuff on it, but, uh, you know, yeah. Sure. It says that uh, <clears throat> as the problem uh, grows, more libraries are taking preventative measures like hiring bed bug sniffing dogs. It's a thing. Throwaway dogs. <laughs> <laughs> 
outside puppies <laughs> outside puppies <laughs> I mean, the, yeah you know and, and they're also buying dozens of quote pack tight or thermal strike heat treatment systems or putting bed bug traps under furniture legs makes sense yeah an entomologist, an entomologist suggests for you to you know not bring <laughs> bed bugs home with you in your books uh, borrowing less popular books <laughs> that the bed bugs haven't gotten to yet because bed bugs, like they're I mean, you know, yeah, the bed, bed bugs, they've only they're got in so the much class. time. They're in the class. They, 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 they stick to the they, they, they stick to the to the New York Times bestsellers. He, they we have an appetite for Nicholas Sparks. <laughs> I mean, after the Notebook, I was just a, a lifetime fan, a lifetime fan. Fifty Shades of <laughs> Itching. Fifty. Oh man, that's creepy. That's <laughs> can I say creepy? No, creepy. Okay, at least like, what's this have to do with French desserts? <laughs> Oh know. shit! The band's not here. I thought there was gonna be a rim show. <laughs> Where's the band? <laughs> I, I hey, thought... hey, buddy! Where's the band? <laughs> hey, everybody! We're all gonna get laid. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's been a while since we did that. That was kind of Harry. That was Harry Carey, though. Now that you do Harry Carey pretty well. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> It's a it, 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 it's a great afternoon for baseball. <laughs> that's that's Harry Carey after his tracheotomy. Yes, uh, see, I can't do it. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Speaking of dangerous things you could huh. bring into your home. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so I thought you were going somewhere. It's not with the time. That. Sorry, it's not the time. <laughs> Speaking of dangerous things that you can bring into your home, Chris, did you know that Home Depot sells uh, sells coffee mugs? I can imagine, yeah. They sell coffee for mugs. contractors. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, but that that would be more of a their Joe while they're out blue collaring. Yeah, their their cup of mud. Um, that would be more of like a thermos, though, right? Like a like a thermos that would latch onto a belt, like a carabiner that isn't rated for climbing. Well, not you know? like you know Joseph the Riveter. <laughs> <laughs> We're not working without R- wires R- above. R- above. <laughs> Above the 1943 New York skyline, Randy the Riveter, we're, 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 with my with my tin lunchbox. We're, we're building a track house in Tacoma. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, they I, thought it would be. I'm, I got my vaporizer in my pocket, <laughs> like for pot. Yeah, because okay. you're in Tacoma, Washington, <laughs> where you're building a track house. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it, it, as you do for charity. You know, people with track marks. <laughs> so anyway uh they sell a straight up mug not a thermos um called homer's all-purpose bucket not related to homer simpson i didn't think so i got excited it's a first. homeowner it's a home depot oh yeah like a homer like a like a like a like a residential like a ding dong like an out of the park yeah yeah <laughs> no. no like a dinger like like a, like a dinger yeah like the, a ding dong like it like a ding dong dinger a do hey <laughs> Hey kids! Um, <laughs> not the time. Sorry. That's not the time. It's never the time. It's never the time. Never the time when you do it. Always the time it's when never I do the it. time for never. Never the time dying. for here. Nope. Nope. Dying Cubs announcement. Nope. <laughs> he's dead. He's been no. I mean, I'm doing he, him while he's dying. Oh, uh, okay. he's like he's like crazy. I dead. could do anybody when they're dying. <laughs> uh, Barbara Streisand. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so this 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 coffee mug, this all-purpose bucket uh, for homers, uh, members of the No Homers Club, um, uh, made in China, um, and uh, it's a mug, but it's meant to be like a uh, like a five-gallon uh, home improvement grade bucket. Let it go, man. Let it go. Sorry, you you dropped the, you dropped the gummy bear. No, I, part of it broke apart. Oh. That toothpick idea is not great. Well, I mean, I didn't expect them to be as soupy as they are. Anyway, it's meant to look like a look look like a home improvement grade bucket, you know, like you would have like uh, cement in or something like that. But the problem is the handle serves no purpose and it's also metallic, and it serves as a fire hazard because uh, people microwave their coffee mugs. So think about that. So it's the people who saw the metal. And then they put it in the microwave, and it's Home Depot's problem. Yep. Well, it's the manufacturer's problem. They've issued a recall. Why? <laughs> it's 
got fucking metal on it. Why are you putting it in the microwave? Because your drink's cold. You need it to be warm. Then you Dude. you know metal doesn't go in the microwave. Do you? Who uses a microwave anymore? I'm pretty sure mine's just for show. I keep I keep China. You in. make enough money that you bought a fifteen dollar bucket mug. <laughs> I hope that you're bright enough to know that metal doesn't go in the microwave. It's actually sold for five dollars. So they're one. Doesn't third. matter. They come in a three pack. <laughs> I agree with you, Chris. You're so rich, you threw two of them away. That's a $15 mug. <laughs> That's a $15 I don't <laughs> care what facts you have. You, you just you, you made a point of breaking them on the way back to the car. <laughs> for charity. <laughs> I break stuff for charity. Yeah, they sold... Uh, they, they, <laughs> Daddy drink for the government. Um, they, they, yeah, they sold about 3,700 of them. You know. Oh, really? Because why not? Because why wouldn't you... I accidentally microwaved a fork once. I think you are... Really? Yeah. I, I caught it in time. <laughs> <laughs> it flew out? <laughs> Actually, I traveled back in time. I caught it in time. I was, I, I was in time when I caught it. <laughs> I had natural peanut butter that I, I put in the refrigerator because oh, that's what you no. do with it. Did it separate? No. It, you're supposed to refrigerate it. But then you can't... When you refrigerate natural peanut butter, you can't use a plastic knife. Oh, because the oils... No, it just gets too firm. It's too, okay. too firm. Too firm. Two hundred dollars. It's too <laughs> too firm. It's like a cheap pillow. Okay, is that it? No, it's not. <laughs> can can you can you? Is there anything you'd like to share with the rest of us, Amazing Larry? If you'd like to coax me a little more? I'll okay. tell you the rest. I would like to hear more. Okay, so it's too hard and you can't scoop it out. So I put it in the microwave, and it turns out there's like residual foil around the lip where the seal was. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And it started sparking and stuff. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Yeah, it was great. <laughs> see that? All right. You know, that's going to happen. You know, that's that, that, that is CODB, Chris. CODB. So if somebody put a stainless steel mug in their refri- in the microwave, would that be the manufacturer's problem too? Was it is it stainless steel on the outside or is it stainless steel on the inside because I've seen some that are plastic on the outside, but Why uh, are we talking about this? M- fucking microwaves are made of metal. Oh, shit, we're through the looking glass. Right? Chris, there are no rules. I'm inside of the All head of, of the guy who's inside the... John Malkovich. <laughs> Chris, speed limits? Speed limits? Nothing. Nothing. Chris, all rules out the window. Upside, up is down. All right? Yeah. <sighs> oh, man. I should, be, I should be relieved. I should be liberated. I should be... Uh, energized but instead it's just, i'm just despondent when there are no boundaries there's nothing to rebel against when you don't have any bars you know to hit it just you just kind of sit there and you know breathe quietly and think and then just wait out the last of your days it's almost like i was defined by the constraints that were put upon me i need to sit and think for a good long while sounds like it okay i'm good all right. While you were thinking, they changed the DSM for 2013. Oh, yeah, the DSM-4. The Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. Yes, the autism isn't a thing anymore. No, Asperger's isn't a thing anymore. Oh, as, okay, so all these people on the internet who think that they have Asperger's are actually autistic. And they're well, not X-Men they are, like they thought. They're on the spectrum. They Yeah, they're somewhere between Wolverine and Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> as we do but <laughs> go on <laughs> a lot of famous scissor people <laughs> it's it's funny a, a lot of a lot of very very famous blade fingers <laughs> oh man anyway <laughs> Don't, don't Asperger's go to sleep, is Fred. not its own thing anymore. Freddie Mercury's you no get longer you. have Asperger's. Hooray! You have you have autism type Asperger's. God damn it! Yeah, that's right. Autism simplex A. <laughs> simplex A. <laughs> so the problem with this is, and the reason that there's outrage on the internet is because parents now feel that since Asperger's isn't its own thing, that kids who are diagnosed with that will no longer qualify for. Aid, you know, special attention, not directly in their eye. Well, wouldn't that mean? <clears throat> wouldn't that mean that they get more aid? 
you know, like just if if it, okay, so I, you know, my my kid was an X man, um, who who really enjoyed time alone and reading books, and uh, he couldn't read facial, uh, you know, fa- facial uh, um, social cues. Sure. Yeah. And <laughs> so now he's full blown. He's got full blown autism. Yeah, they take him into a new class, but you know, but that's not free. The special classes? Sure, not anymore because he doesn't have full blown Asperger's. No, no, like he, he's he, he's bumped up instead of instead of being. He's no, he's not. No, 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 no. You're, you're you know, you're. It's like uh, it's not that way. It's it's Asperger's is like a lesser form. Asperger's is a lesser form, sure, because they're more functional. Asperger's, right? That, I know this, Chris. You're you're not tracking. So logically, what I'm saying. it makes sense, Chris. I mean, no, logically, what I'm saying makes sense. They're okay. So so if they're upset over aid, okay, if they're if they're upset because of any because of any benefit that they get to, no, you know, because help. they're not going to get it because they don't have full blown autism. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so it has to be this thing. We're, we're like, I'm not being cruel. Like, I'm, I, I okay. I'm, I may be, sure. I may be being cruel. All right. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm not being intentionally ableist here. This kind of policy, it does affect people if it changes things. And, you sure. know, yeah. let me, let me just put it to you like this. They thought <clears throat> they didn't have any legs. Okay. And now they have one leg and somebody's like, go to fucking work. Okay. Okay. That's, that, that's where we're at here. Yeah. Also, a uh, something has been added as its own disorder, and that's called binge eating. Okay, they've added binge eating as its own thing, mm-hmm. which normally that would have been a, a, maybe a sign of depression, yeah, or maybe some sort of sign of uh, like maybe some sort of a, a obsessive compulsive something, yeah. Uh, but now it's its own thing. Okay. So you can be just like totally normal and binge eat. And um, I mean that makes sense. Is is like anorexia nervosa in there? No, no, it's literally like it's just binge eating. That's funny. So, yeah, see, I would, I would imagine that like if if if, if anorexia is a, considered a psychological disorder in the DSM, then binge eating would have would like would logically be the other side of that coin, right? Well, sure. But then, so how do you do this? So they add a bereavement as a form of depression. Yeah. Yeah. So you you are sad somebody died. No, they they've added that. I'm not mm-hmm. saying like yeah. You don't need to agree. It's, it's law. It's told they change it. Mm-hmm. So then you binge eat. Are you depressed? Are you bereaved? Are you a binge eater? I don't think you fall into like w- one and that's it. And I don't think that it's all or nothing in, in them. I think that the way the DSM works is there are a certain criteria. Like it's like here here are ten criteria. If you meet three of these. Then, 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 then you're set. And by, and, and, and by, and by set, I mean, here's, here's your straight jacket. No, um, <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I mean, it's, it's interesting from a policy decision. I mean, what homo, like homosexuality was in the DSM until like, uh, the third one or something like that. So it's, it's definitely a living, breathing document, much like our constitution. They've added DMDD. <clears throat> Disruptive mood dysregulation disorder. Okay. They said it's only normal for kids to have outbursts, but the APA, the committee that writes, you know, this DSM thing, says that uh, kids with uh, DMDD uh, will help avoid overdiagnosis of a, a bipolar disorder in children. Cool. Cool. Left off the list. What did they take out? No, they didn't take anything out. It's just no. It's you know they keep lobbying sex addiction. Oh, really? So the evidence just wasn't there. <laughs> huh. Okay, and they're in cheap hotel banging. Never <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Never shut. <laughs> they tried, Chris. They tried to get there. They just got kept on. They just kept on getting distracted by those sexy, sexy homeless. People. That's really <laughs> odd. It's an Indian porno called Curry Duty. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking real, man. <laughs> yeah, I've, I don't know if I've, ever, if I've ever seen you so proud of yourself. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah well, that was that was a good one. I'll give you that. You scored some points. All right. Let's let, let, let's take a br- let's take a breather. Let's regroup. Scoreboard. Beep, beep. <laughs> it's funny how I got that installed, right? Mm-hmm. The dude's left right before you got here. 
<sighs> Mark one up. While we're talking about uh, while we're talking about these things, Chris, do you know uh, about relaxation anxiety? Sure. Do you experience this yourself? I do when I have to have my blood pressure taken. <laughs> when somebody says, relax, relax. Get to it. When are you going to? I got to. Uh, no, I just, yeah, when I have my blood pressure taken, it uh, it rises. That's the thing, though. Like, like it's... it's uh, they play whales and ocean noises and suies <laughs> and <laughs> tell me to calm down and they take it again and they say, well... <laughs> Systolic has come down, but your diastolic is still yeah. awful. <laughs> well, well, to be fair, you do like 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 grab a sharps container and throw it at them, and try and like take the sheets off the bed and knot them, and climb down the side of the building to get out of there. Yeah, so right. <laughs> my blood you know. pressure's up. I'm pooping in my hand. <laughs> I just I can't help it. One thing happens, then the other happens. What it's are you gonna do? Natural well, course of events. Just gator head bottle. <laughs> Sir, sir, there's a toilet right there. This is a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's the uh, it's it, it's something that happened right here. Um, at my alma mater, uh, my alma mater. Um, do you hear children? I do hear children. They are below us. They're all, all right, around all us. Right, right. They're inside of us. Make sure. Okay. Cornfield. <laughs> we have to make them happy or also wish us there. No. Um, yeah. My, my alma mater, the University of Cincinnati, um, a PhD student there has, uh, can, you know, they're, they're doing research on relaxation anxiety, uh, where activities such as exercise, listening to music, or even taking a vacation um, can trigger anxious feelings. So there are a bunch of things that may cause this. Somebody like may may think, "Oh, I, I look weird when I relax." People will think I'm lazy. I, you know, I have to I have to you know constantly be accomplishing things, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera, on and on down the list. I think I might have this. In addition to my other anxieties, I I, I got to do stuff. Oh, you got to keep moving on. Yeah, yeah. I'm like the Running Man. Or uh, or <laughs> at a at a at a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like uh, I'm, I'm like Jason Statham and Crank. Never saw that. No, no, it's an okay movie. They uh, <laughs> they, they they inject him with uh, the Bangkok cocktail or something like that, and uh, it's 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 a it's a a group of drugs which will cause his heart to explode if he stops moving. So he has to constantly be in motion. And fortunately, he he gets from where he is to the guy, you know, the big bad guy with the the antidote just by kicking ass the entire time. And like he's he's driving in a car and he can't hold still while he's driving a car, so he gets a lady to bang him while he's driving the car. It's pretty sweet. That's exactly what my life is like. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> yeah, relaxation induced anxiety. <laughs> what? I don't know, man. <laughs> if you were a fish, what kind of fish would you be? I don't, I, I don't, I don't know enough fish. Blow I don't know fish? From fish. I kind of, yeah. I, I, I uh, um, I'm unassuming until until I'm agitated, and then I, I puff up, and I don't want people to be around me. And if I'm eaten, I'm poisonous. The the fugu. There you go. Yeah. Prepared incorrectly, Cole will kill you. <laughs> okay. Where's this going, Chris? Well. <clears throat> Researchers said small, non-dominant Atlantic molly males. <laughs> the molly males. Atlantic molly males, non-dominant. Okay. Like a non-puffed coal. Are often overlooked for larger, flashier rivals as mating partners. <laughs> so, so these little non-dominant Atlantic molly males, they rose vastly in the esteem of females that observed them copulating regardless of the partner's sex. Oh, okay. So some female animals are known to show a preference for mating with males they had observed coupling with other animals in a phenomenon phenomenon known as mate choice copying. So if they can observe you fucking anything from a distance, any just anything and like, that even remotely looks pre- pleasurable to what you're pumping on. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't so, say who, I say what. Yeah, I mean, does that does that assume that it is animate? I I would assume. I I don't know. Mm, okay, I would. I mean, what are you gonna? So so if I'm giving it to a so like first date, let me see your fuck tape. <laughs> if I if I'm giving and by by what you mean, I literally stick my dick into a VHS. Do those still happen? Do VHSs still happen? 
They're almost extinct. They're like they like uh, when you fuck a VHS, it dies. J- J- <laughs> JVC. They stopped making v- they stopped making VCRs. I think that's a lot of letters. Uh, that's the way the AV industry. So that works. happens. Yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, they just want to see you. Uh, you know, just uh, just want to see that it works. They just want to see that motion in the ocean. These fishes. <laughs> They do, they do. Um, I mean, this this backs up, um, re- not not really in my some, life. Yeah, it backs that up my story. life, story, my ambition, everything happening right now. My my tears <sighs> right now. Um, no, it, but it backs up the kind of anecdotal for, folkloric knowledge that all sex is about power. And dominance and the relationship between two people and who gives and who gets what. Right? Now, <clears throat> if I'm just out there railing some dude, does it work if you're being railed by the dude? I no. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Hmm. I think that it's that they take their small person uh, you know, the the less dominant. Yeah, yeah. And they are seen as dominant, dominant because they're on top. Yeah, yeah. They're dominant. Is, is that how fish do it? I thought that they like. I don't know. No, no. I thought that fish they don't they don't copulate they're like fish. They just leave the eggs, and the dudes come up and just. Bleh. I think that they might though. But they but they recreational. But they don't. They don't fish sex. No, I don't know. No, no, no. I don't know. They quote Woody Allen in this article. Do they? What do they say? Apparently Woody Allen once said that uh, bisexuality immediately doubles your chances for a date on a Saturday night. Can, can you do that as Harry Carey? No. Can you but, do it as Harry Carey dying? No. Can you do it as Woody Allen? No, I don't even... What does he sound like? Well, <laughs> you know, bisexuality, it, uh, oh, oh, it increases your chances of a date on a uh, Saturday night. Sounds like you talking. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're both very neurotic gentlemen. That was probably the worst uh, Woody Allen in the world. I'm I thought so you were doing sorry. Harry Carey. <laughs> I really did. I, I gotta tell you. <laughs> oh, I gotta tell you. <laughs> Anything that moves. Marty! <laughs> Marty, you'll never believe it! Yeah, um, so... <laughs> mm. That is funny. Yeah, so there you go. There we go. That all else, is that, all else fails. It is that that is the course through. Hey, you want to go to prom? You want to go to prom now? <laughs> but and by prom, I mean let's make it no! happen. <laughs> How would you feel after I fuck this dude? This has been those damn Roskits. So, there are a couple things you can do for us in uh, in regards to this show. Um, first off, you can go to iTunes, rate us, and review us. We've had a couple of new ratings and reviews, uh, which is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for that. Uh, you can like us on Facebook and contribute stories. We like it when that happens, and we like any discussion that happens there. Uh, we are now on Stitcher Smart Radio, uh, which is a new way for you to listen if you're not down with the iTunes flavor. Um which is neat. Uh, that's that, that's a cool thing for you to do. Um, also, <clears throat> we have an Amazon referral link at duckfeed.tv slash tip jar. Um, as our shows get more popular and as they are downloaded more, it costs us more to do it. Um, it's kind of a double-edged sword, but as more people listen, more people can go to that thing. Buy stuff on Amazon doesn't cost you a single extra cent, and we get a little kickback from that, and it helps support all of the shows on the, on the network, like... Uh, uh, the level, the pitch, watch out for fireballs, and this show uh, here itself. We are growing every single day, and we appreciate it. Is there anything I'm forgetting, Chris? I think you got it. Cool. Good night. Night.